Hi, uh, let's talk about how to make a uh, LPM, also known as a loop envelope, for the creation kit. So right here I have opened one of the vanilla game's LPMs. This is for when you draw and sheath any restoration spell. So the basic idea with any LPM is that there is a beginning of the sound, there is a looping middle of the sound, and an end. The sound will play and continuously loop through the middle until uh, the player takes some sort of action that triggers the end of the sound. So to make this we have, uh, I have these three sounds from Dario. I have a, a quip, a looping uh, middle, and an unequip. And so I'm going to put these together in uh, multi-track. You can do this in any multi-track. It's all super simple stuff. I'm using Adobe Audition just because it's what I have installed. Drag in my uh, three components, my beginning, middle, and end. And the basic idea is that I want to uh, have a perfect loop in the middle, preserved perfectly, and then I want to fade that loop in and out uh, on top of the equip and unequip sounds. So I'm just setting that up now using snapping to help me out. So this is the basic idea. I've got the equip, the loop kind of begins underneath it, and then it continues to this perfect uh, loop that has uh, no sounds on top of it. And then it will gently fade out. So the only thing I gotta do now is add in some fades. I'm going to turn down the loop a little bit just because I think it's a little loud. Great. So the sound is uh, constructed. The last thing we need to do is add in a couple markers that signify uh, when this perfect loop starts and ends. And we'll be using these markers in Wavasaur to uh, create a different type of marker that the engine will be able to see and recognize. So this is ready to export. All right, the sound is exported. And so now I've opened up Wavasaur. I'm gonna drag in my file into Wavasaur. I see the beginning loop and end. And I also see these dotted green lines where I put um, my markers that signify the middle. And in Wavasaur, you can just double click any region and it will highlight that whole region. So I'm going to double click the looping center, go up to tools, loop, create loop points. You can also just tap L to do that alternatively. And when you do that, you'll see here, it's a little bit of metadata added it says loop start and loop end in yellow. And so that is what uh, the creation kit engine cares about. And with those added to the file, it will uh, be able to recognize our LPM as uh, what it is. So I'm actually gonna delete these original markers. You don't have to, but uh, the engine doesn't care about them. So I just delete that and save over the original file and we're done. Now the LPM should be recognized in Creation Kit.